Welcome to Con Tips. Today we're here with Captain Kyle. Hey. Hold the applause. Uh, what do you have for us today? Hi, Constance. Today I want to talk about a prop that really helps out a costume, really adds to it. Um, I'm talking about prop guns. And I have some really cool ones. You want to see? Absolutely. There are all kinds of great prop guns out there. Some are made, some people make themselves. Why don't you show us what you got? Well, here's my first one. This I got at a discount dollar store. It's got a nice orange tip. It's good for your Western cosplays or if you're Rick Grimes. So, I mean, it's obviously a fake gun, but it's very con safe. And it doesn't look too bad, I'd say. Can I just shoot you for like 10 minutes? That would fill up the show, but no. <laughs> this is an actual airsoft gun. It is unloaded. There's no clip, no pellets. It's got an orange tip. And uh, this is the one I use for my governor. And it, it's a nice, realistic-looking gun, but it does have the orange tip. And it can't hurt anybody. Now, this one here... Obviously, not a real gun. This is actually a pulse pistol. That's a nice, got, got some nice weight to it. It's made out of resin, and it's from the uh, sci-fi series Farscape. May it rest in peace. But another great weapon. Obviously not real, but fun. Now this kind of looks like a real gun, but it's not. Ooh. This is... Ah. Oh, pop and fresh dough. Anyway... <laughs> This is the Malcolm Reynolds gun from Firefly. Uh, a replica, obviously, because I can't get the screen used one with for cheap. And I wouldn't bring it to cons anyway. But, again, made out of resin. No moving parts, but a very deadly looking weapon. Don't shoot the audience. Finally, there's this one. That is a Webley Mark IV. It is the preferred gun. Do you want to really use both fingers for that trigger? Yeah, it, it looks good, doesn't it? It looks really real. Yeah, this is a Denex replica of the uh, Wobbly Mark IV. It's um, a thirty-eight caliber replica, but it's it will never fire a bullet, never has. Um, it does have a chamber that you could put dummy rounds in, but it's not going to be able to be shot anywhere. So they're very cool. I like them. You like them? These are some pretty impressive props. <laughs> They're really good. Well, thank you. However, when you're dealing with props that look realistic, even the ones that don't look realistic, you need to be careful with them. If fake or real, they can still seem pretty dangerous. There are a few good rules to follow with prop guns. First of all, when you're going to a con, you want to check the rules for that con to make sure what ones you could bring, because some may not allow something as realistic looking as this, and you don't want to get there and not be able to walk in with your prop gun. Don't they uh, usually tag the prop guns at most shows? They do. They usually put, like, a, a strip on it. But uh, even with that on it, if you're covering it up with your hand, you know, it may not be noticeable. Right. you still got to be careful. Another rule is not to point it at anyone without them being aware that it's a prop, and Possibly their permission. Um, it's great for posing with pictures and pointing them at people, but just don't point them at random people. Not at the con, and especially not outside the con. Yeah, I could see where someone might see, think that some of those are real. Right, and you don't want the, the police to come. And even when you're traveling to and from the con, you might want to put them in some kind of bag or container so that people don't actually see them and get nervous. Because, again, they'll grab out their cell phone and dial 911. Yeah, especially outside of a con, people are not aware of cosplayers necessarily, so they might think you're up to something dangerous, and you definitely don't want anyone calling the cops on you. That could lead to nothing good. Exactly. I mean, as a rule, police officers don't want to draw their weapon on anyone, which brings up another point. If you're at a con or anywhere, and you have a prop weapon, and the police approach you, Follow their instructions exactly. If your weapon is holstered, do not pull out your weapon when a cop is coming towards you. Or if you're at an outdoor photo shoot and you're actually holding a weapon and the police show up, place it down on the ground immediately and step away so they can examine it and make sure that it's harmless. Yeah, if you don't, that's a good way to get in trouble or, gosh, even shot. Yeah, we don't want that to happen to anybody. Cosplay is about fun and 
if cosplayers aren't safe, that's certainly not fun. Well, that's it for this edition of Con Tips. Thank you for watching and be safe with your props out there. Hi everyone, thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give us a like. You can share it with some friends and please feel free to leave a comment below. And don't forget to subscribe. And there's a little bell thing. If you click that, you get notifications when we have more videos coming out. See you next time.